YouTube, how the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Nate Shot. Today, I'm bringing you a two-for-one video. The first being a 1v4 sniper ace, and sniper aces or clutches are usually my favorite video, so if you guys could leave a like and a favorite or possibly even share this video, it would be much appreciated. Uh, in my opinion, this is a Master Division League play match, so it's kind of harder to pull off uh, than a normal, regular Search and Destroy public playlist, so I hope you guys enjoy that, and then right after, we're going to get into my normal commentary. I appreciate you dudes watching, and I'll see you guys in a bit. How are you finders are going? Right there, man. All right. Okay. Finish the mission. You're all that remains. Come on, you schmuck. <laughs> you know he's there too. Oh snap! Oh! 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 oh. oh. Come on. Alright, fuck you. What? Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Well, that's going on you too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One before. All quick scopes. That works. Got great. One before. Sniper raise, baby. Let's go! Get ready for the next round. <laughs> that was ridiculous. I don't know how this shot hit, especially when you jump in like this. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh the other team just hit that. <laughs> Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, like I said, those sniper aces or clutches are usually my favorite types of videos. And I was going to upload that separately, but I decided to put these videos together because I want to talk to you guys about a class setup that I've been toying around with. And this is a gameplay against all pro players. We like to play eights. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know what that is, you take like eight or nine pro players, and any amount of pro players really, and you put them in the lobby, and then you get two captains, and those two captains pick their team that they want so that you could have members from any any pro team that there is and they could be playing together this gameplay starts off a little slow uh it's hijacked every pro player is starting to practice these maps for the cod championships because the mlg maps are a little different from the ones that the cod championships are using so hijacked is going to be in there and i'm trying to get used to my shotgun and that's the class setup that i've been toying around with just a little bit i doubt that i'll use it just because there's just so many different options that are probably work better but Ugh, sorry about that what I've been using is a primary weapon with about one attachment usually quick draw for SMGs and if it's an assault rifle I'll just use adjustable stock but then on that class I'll overkill and then for my secondary weapon I'll pull out a shotgun so that means whenever I'm in a hard point or I ever need a close quarters weapon I can just bring out my shotgun and just completely annihilate the other team and it worked in league play which I assumed that would happen, but then once you go up against pro players and they have their akimbo B23Rs and you're just getting slaughtered by those, it makes you want to change your class setups around. And the reason why I, I love Black Ops 2 so much is the fact that all these weapons are so balanced. I mean, when you're playing in a in eights like this, and you see the kill feed, you're gonna see a bunch of scorpions. Uh, because once once one pro player sees another pro using a scorpion effectively, they want to start using it and be like, damn, that's a really good gun. But in, in my honest opinion, I think every SMG is so equally good, it just it's going to come down to preference. I mean, in my chat last night, it, it, like Fwiz would say, it was a cesspool of hate. Uh, we were practicing for the COD Championships, and we were getting destroyed by complexity. Like we, I think we won two maps out of the 11 that we played. And, and that's one of the reasons why I hate scrimming on stream is because everybody literally just like wants me to commit suicide because they, it, it, it's it's honestly unreal and i ignore the haters or whatever but when you got like over like four or five thousand people telling you how much you suck and they really don't understand the context of the actual game that they're watching it just it, it gets very frustrating and it's hard for me uh to keep the stream on and shut my mouth and not say anything so what I was talking about, what I was getting into, is that everybody was complaining that I was using the MP7. Every time I died or got outgunned, they were like, the MP7 sucks, why the hell are you using that nade shot? You need to get rid of that. 
And in my opinion, I, I think the MP7 is great. The iron sights are perfect for aiming down sights and killing enemy opponents. Uh, I don't like the, a the ADS for the MSMC. I love the ADS for the PDW, but that gun seems to be a little weak at times. And it, it's really, I'm going to be bouncing around between weapons, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, trying to find uh, the best possible combination of perks, weapons, attachments that works for me. Uh, at the end of the day, since this game is so balanced, it's going to come down to all personal preference. So that's why when people get on my ass about what I'm using, it, it gets it gets super frustrating because, I mean, I don't want to sit there and say I know better than you because uh, everyone can learn something from everybody. But like I said, when, when my team is playing bad or we're not winning maps and you have everybody talking trash to you and telling you how you should be playing the game, it, it, it definitely kind of gets on my nerves because like, hey, man, uh, I, I've been playing this game for over five years and it, it, I, it's worked out so far well six years actually uh, I, I understand what we're doing wrong I understand what needs to be done uh, so, I, I don't know I love the chat I love the stream but just sometimes man you guys make it I'm not saying all of you it just gets very very difficult to keep doing what I'm doing because <laughs> uh, you guys should see some of the things that people say like even even people making comments about my deceased mom man it, it's rough dude I, I don't know. The, the internet's a scary place sometimes. Sometimes it's it could be like the most enjoyable experience streaming for all these people. And then other times when you start losing, everybody seems to be a critic. I don't know. It's a little difficult. But let's get back into this. Like I said, I have the overkill. Actually, I think I'm just using the, the normal shotgun on this class. I have a quick draw, long barrel. I have my sentry gun, lightning strike, and hellstorm missile. And I believe... I have B23Rs on my secondary. I do. I, I also have flak jacket, lightweight, toughness, and extreme conditioning. I feel like for hardpoint, if you can really balance your perks that well, I, I would definitely throw on flak jacket because you never really know who's going to throw a grenade. You know, you see a lot of pro teams kind of switch it up and just start whipping semtexes and grenades when they know the other team isn't rocking flak jacket so they can get everybody out of the hill so easily. But. If you guys want to give this class a try, I, I definitely suggest it. This Remington shotgun is so much fun to use. And everyone tells me to use the KSG, but the KSG you have to be super, super accurate with or the bullets and your shots aren't going to connect. I feel like that's the only downfall of it. And I believe there's another shotgun, the M2681 or something. I, I know that's not the exact name. It's M2 something. But... I like the fact that the Remington has eight shots in it and that other shotgun is kind of like an automatic four shot gun and then you have to reload it. So I definitely believe that the Remington is the best shotgun. You guys might disagree, but this is the one I like using. This is the one I'm most comfortable with. And I'm definitely going to keep this on my classes for different certain certain situations, maybe like the window hardpoint on Yemen or kitchen hardpoint on Raid. There's just, there's just so many different situations in this game where certain weapons come in so clutch and that's why i like the uh the point system for class making the uh the pick 10 i i, I just think a lot of things that track has done with this game has been really cool and it, it really just saved the call of duty competitive series if that makes any sense like, it, like the the meta game in this in this game is just unreal like the choice of weapons tacticals uh, perk greeds and everything like that really define who's going to win the game So you really need to have a variety of classes made and ready to go because it, it, it just You need so many different variations of classes You need to have hardwired for when people are whipping EMPs You need tack mass for when people are throwing flashes and stuns It's almost to a point where people don't even have enough class slots to counter everything and that's why this game is so interesting because I'm not sure if you guys tuned into MLG Dallas. I hope you guys did. But sitting there watching the actual game, I learned so... You can learn so much just by watching videos and streams and certain combinations that might work. Like throwing smokes and using a dual band LMG or just... It's, it's mind-boggling, honestly, how much of a change there has been to the Call of Duty series looking back from Modern Warfare 3 on to Black Ops 1. Can you imagine score streaks being used for Modern Warfare 3 and people were rocking specialists and literally have every perk in the game and how interesting that would have been to watch? So I, I hope that with the next Call of Duty they bring along some competitive features and it's interesting to watch. But I hope they also have uh, some cool things that other Call of Duty series haven't had in the past. Uh, like, like I said, that specialist... 
Uh, streak would have been so sick to watch a Modern Warfare 3 in competitive. Somebody went on like the dirtiest 10 kill spree and they got all their perks and they were like, like a super soldier. Honestly. But I hope you guys enjoyed this game. I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. Please leave a like or favorite if you haven't already and possibly share the video. It's always much appreciated, dudes. I hope you tune into the live stream today and YouTube. We'll see you fudging later.